Hello, Steve White, Steve White 79. Well, um, I just watched um, Little Nas X's last uh, video, um, and because I did that, I recommended his performance on Saturday Night Live, which I hadn't seen. Um, I had heard about it, I'd heard that his um, pants split, and that's the only thing I heard, and I thought I should check that out because that could be funny. Um, and I didn't. Now, the reason why I loved his other video was because it wasn't some big, overblown, dancey, spectacle you know, overly sexualized thing. Uh, it was a simple little video, um, and this is the opposite. This is exactly what I was sort of expecting. But it's a live version of Montero, so of course that's what it's going to be. And I was curious to see how they would handle it, um, because, you know, America is very afraid of um, black men's sexuality, so I thought, hmm, how's he going to do this live? And he had, I think, what, six dancers? And they're all, I'm watching it now, it's on silent. Um, I mean, he basically had a little, I don't know what you call those tops, they, they come like here. So he's like got the um, abs showing in the chest from just above the nipple showing and like a jacket, but I don't know what you call it. It's not like a crop top, it's like a crop jacket or something, I don't know. He's got that and pants and it's all leather and it's got like black with fire. So, you know, they're going for black, you know, you know hell theme and the set's pretty simple but it's nice um and yeah he's got like i think what's one two yeah six dancers black guys i think they're all black guys i think they're a mix and they're all wearing like uh vinyl pants but they're not tight and they've got um little bits cut out the back to almost look like they're wearing g-strings but they've got um the pants coming down the back, or they're almost like um, half chaps, I don't know, but they're not showing their whole butts, but they're kind of showing their butts, so I thought that was a little daring, although it is Saturday Night Live, which is not on early or anything, but still, and um, of course they're all shirtless, and they're all kind of hot, and I love that all wearing do-rags with, um, they've got like the vi um, vinyl or whatever straps, and the, the rest of it is the usual sort of um, material. So it's all very black and shiny, which is my favourite thing. I, I, I'm a gay, I have fetishes, I like my black and shiny. Um, and yeah, it was pretty good. It, was, it wasn't, um, I was expecting him to do some pole dancing, and maybe he was going to, because apparently you can see that's where his pants split, um, because he acknowledged it, and he spends the last 30 seconds or so of the song standing for the pole with his hand cupped over his um, hole, basically. So he spent a fair amount of time grabbing himself anyway, but he may have had a couple of little um, moves that were planned there that didn't happen because, um, you know, his pants split. But it looked pretty good. Overall, the show was pretty good. Um, I was thinking he might have gone a bit more... Um, uh, a bit more sexual, a bit more um, Madonna's girly show um, uh, after Deeper and Deeper, where it's just like a big orgy. Um, I thought it would be a bit more like that. The dancers were very much just choreographed and, you know, the, one licks his neck, you know, one is like on his head with his butt up and um, that one is like in between his legs. So, you know, it's sexual, it's dancing, but it's not, um, it wasn't extreme or anything crazy or anything. I wasn't sure how he'd deal with this live, how far they'd sort of try to actually represent the, the fantasy sort of um, landscape of the video and they have a giant screen in the background which has like the tunnel that he goes through the cloud tunnel and they show like hell on that and um, the floor is a screen as well so they've done a fair good fair, fair amount of um, visualization it's really just one basic set with the pole and six dancers and two backup singers who are basically wearing the same costume as the dancers but they've got uh, little transparent crop tops so it's all pretty gay and it's it's surreal to see a, an active gay performer doing um, like something like this, just being really um, obviously openly gay and um, doing it on mainstream TV in America. It's um, just trying to stop my power from going off. Um, it's it's kind of remarkable when I think about it because a few years ago, would we have imagined that we could have an out gay black performer, gay like guy? Because we've always had bisexual women and that sort of because that's um, acceptable because, um, frankly, straight guys fetishize um, bisexual women and lesbian women, so it's okay because uh, the patriarchy is okay with it. But gay guys and bl gay black men, oh no, that's that's a big no-no. So 
I didn't think we'd see someone like Little Lass X popping up at this point. I, I'm kind of surprised he exists. And um, he's interesting, though, because he has this cute nerd quality. He, he's obviously a man. He's a sexual man. He's a black man. Um, and he has a sexuality. He's, he's, he's not just that. But he also he, he, seen, he has that amount of likability that you can kind of... He's getting away with it somehow. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's getting away with it. And sorry, I just saw the, the moment where he realized he split his pants and exactly, it looks quite funny and cute there. Um, so he's got that, but he's also, um, I mean, black male sexuality is threatening to white America and the patriarchy. So he's sort of got that weapon as well. So it's curious, curious to see him sort of do that mix. Like the other video I just watched, he's playing this nerdy high school kid, um, you know, and now, and then, you know, he's, in the other video, he's he's this sexual being. It's it's kind of it's, it's curious. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to comment on it. And I love I love what they're wearing. Um, he, he's he's playing with the fetish element as well, which always does well because there's always an element of people who will see that, appreciate that, and um, support that, follow that. So he's not stupid. Madonna's always played with that. He's playing with it a little bit. Um, at least with this video and with the live performance of it. But um, I'm done. I just want to talk about it. Um, like I said, I, I've been doing, doing videos about a lot of negative things, um, racism and sexism and COVID and stuff, and I just wanted to do a video and talk about something I actually liked that I was happy about, that I enjoyed, um, just for the fun of it, just to make it for myself. I don't care if anyone watches it. It's just enjoyable to just talk about things that you actually like, um, instead of criticizing or defending things all the time, which is often what you do as a YouTuber. Um, but I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did you like the performance? Um, I'm curious, was he wearing any underwear? Um, like, why, why did he have to hold his hand there like that? Was he stopping things from showing, or did he just have, like, white underwear or something that just would have showed? Or is it just your usual, just natural embarrassment of like a normal person outside of being a performer. Some performers would just go with it and make it part of the performance. Other people was like, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, he might, he may have been quite capable of falling out. I mean, who knows? But um, I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye.